Here, look. Let's take a photo together. We're finally leaving. My glasses are fogging up because it's cold out there. Must be nice. Literally. <laughs> must be awesome. December 17th, we packed our bags and we flew to Kenya to visit Cohen's family. We hadn't been back in three years and it didn't seem like there was enough time to do everything we wanted without catching COVID and still being able to go back to Korea. But it had to end. We had to go back to Korea. Bye bye, buddy. Oh, is he gonna be party? Dude, he's gonna yeah. be a teenager by the time he's <laughs> And as we know, Korea is not the easiest country to get into right now because of COVID. They have some of the strictest rules, strictest quarantine, and especially because of Omicron, people coming from countries in Africa are flagged and taken to a different facility to spend a night and, and get a PCR test there first when they land in Korea. So that's where we had to go. Basically the situation is we got in yesterday because we came from Kenya, Africa. We have to stay, we had to quarantine in a separate location for one night and test, get tested. Will's positive, Cohen's inconclusive. I'm negative, therefore I must be immune. Superior system. So we're stuck here right now, but since Cohen was inconclusive, they're testing her again tonight. Actually, they called us this morning to tell us our test results, and they're like, well, Justin's negative, so he can check out. <laughs> and then they're like, Will's positive, so he needs to go to a facility, but obviously can't go by himself because he's a baby. Yeah. So that's what the first lady told me. And then I called, being like, hi, can we just go home? Because at the time, I understood like my test results have come back as negative as well. But like, oh no, yours are inconclusive, so you have to get tested again. So that's the situation. <laughs> This little guy's got to go to where? A facility. A facility. <laughs> By himself. So that's probably the most ridiculous part. Are we hopeful that we're going to go home tomorrow? <laughs> yeah, I think we're going to go home tomorrow. <sighs> nice. Let's see what we got. Wine? Poodle. Mm, some grape jelly. Oh, grape juice. a juice. Ooh, <gasps> same lunch as yesterday. Chicken cutlet oh, spread. Look. Is it still cold? Look at this. His hair in my food. Ew! <laughs> Can you see it? Yeah. Yeah, I'm not gonna eat that. That's so gross. <laughs> oh, at least we got lunch, I guess. Um, so basically, well, I'm negative, Cohen's negative, Will had an inconclusive test, but then they retested that sample and he's positive, but he has no symptoms. So we'll get him tested again in a couple days. I mean, we'll all get tested again in seven days from now. But we've been released, so that's great. We haven't been released. Well, we're almost released, we just need to get a time. And our good friends are coming to pick us up, so thank you guys. Yeah, all we have to do now is put our hazmat suits on and leave. Oh yeah, shoot, uh, put my hood on. I got it, put my hood on. Okay, I gotta stop filming now. Let's take a photo together. Dang, my glasses are fogging up because it's cold up. Shibby. How you feeling, bud? So we'll probably call Okay. Let's right, get one more bag. We did it! We did it! We made it back. We made it back. It never felt so good to come home. <laughs> Worth it. <laughs> you want the trip? 
Yeah. Okay, so it's this is our tenth day into quarantine. We've we're almost done. We have one more day. We all tested yesterday, and we're all negative now, so that's great. And uh, we're ready to join the Korean society again. <laughs> Well, we'll be back at daycare. I will be back at work at home. And Justin will be out. Who's that? Who's that? <gasps> <laughs> He's like, what are you guys doing? <laughs> All right, that's the end.